Hello everyone, this is Aaron Burton with Unconventional Oil and Gas Training. Thank you for joining me today. In today's module, we'll be looking at new ball activated frag sleeve technology. Before we get started, I do want to remind you to visit our website if you want to catch up on previous blog posts. And also, if you're enjoying the video blog and want to be informed about the latest ones being released, be sure to sign up uh, for email communications as well. The website is uogtraining.com. Also, if you're not familiar with ball-activated completion systems, before continuing this module, I do recommend you uh, go back to the website, go under the blog tab, and go under uh, and review a five-minute overview of ball-activated completion systems. The first technology we'll look at are frack sleeves with counter mechanisms. Now, with this concept, you're going to have the same size ball and ball seat diameter in each of your sleeves. So, uh, we've got five sleeves that we're showing here. We drop a ball. As it's being pumped through the well, it passes through each of those sleeves, and you can see the counter counting down as it passes through. When it lands on the ball seat, it's on zero. Applying pressure will open that frack sleeve, and once the ports are exposed, you can begin your first stage frack job. Now, once you finish with that stage, you drop the same exact size ball. It passes through each of the seats, counts down that counter, and when it reaches the ball seat with the zero, it applying pressure will open that sleeve and you come in your second stage frag job. Once again, dropping the exact same size ball, it passes through the other ones, counts down that counter, and when it lands on the zero in the third sleeve, it opens that frag sleeve and you begin your third stage frag job. And then you're just repeating that process, dropping the exact same size ball, and when it lands on the zero sleeve, it opens the sleeve and you begin the stage, uh, for the fracture for that stage. Now only five are shown here, but in theory, uh, with these counter sleeves, you can run as many of these in the well as you want to. So you have a virtually unlimited number of stages, and you have a large diameter. Uh, with these balls being disintegrating, once you finish the frack job, they remove themselves from the well, and you have that large diameter ball seat that you can produce through. So the purpose of these sleeves is to increase the number of stages to a virtually unlimited number while maintaining as large a diameter as possible so that it doesn't hinder any of your fracturing operations or any of your production operations. Now there's several different designs with these. The ones that are shown in this uh, image here are the uh, subsiding ball seats. So every time the ball lands on the seat, if it's not on zero, the ball seat will subside. It'll check off on the counter and continue passing down until it reaches the zero counter. There's a couple of other mechanical counters out there <clears throat> that have the uh, same exact uh, function, just a little bit different concept. And there's also some new sleeves in the market that use electronics to do this. So instead of having a mechanical counter in the sleeve, you actually have electronics in the sleeves that will count. Another option are ball seats with a collet locator. So you've got your frack sleeves in the well bore as you're pumping your fluid through. You pump down the ball seat with the collet locator. Now you can see in the frack sleeve there's a collet profile and on the ball seat there's a collet. Also on the ball seat the ball is already in place so it's already once it lands in the appropriate collet it's isolated and ready uh, to open the frack sleeve. Now you see on this one, the collet is longer than the collet profile, therefore they don't mate, and continuing pumping will pump it down the well bore. As you continue pumping it through the well bore, it does reach the collet profile that it's supposed to mate with, it latches into it, and once it latches into that profile, applying pressure will open the frack sleeve, and once the frack sleeve is open, then you can begin the frack job for that stage. Now because these are not dependent on ball seat diameter and ball diameter, then uh, you can have a virtually unlimited number of these sleeves in the well, as well as no diameter restriction um, during the frack job. Now the current design uses a disintegrating frack ball, so once you've finished fracturing, the ball disintegrates. You can leave that collet in the well bore. You can produce through it. Once again, it has a very large diameter to um, uh, prevent as much uh, hindrance uh, on your flow, on your production flow as possible. And they're also retrievable, so you can use cool tubing in to pull these collets out of the ball seats with collets out of the well bore. 
Now they're also working on a design where the ball seat with collet locator itself is disintegrating. So once you're finished fracturing, well bore fluids will dissolve it and you'll have a uh, complete full bore diameter again. So with this particular design you have an unlimited number of stages uh, with no diameter restriction during the frac job and once the uh, once you've removed the collet or the ball seat with the collet or it's disintegrated then you have a full full production ID as well. So both of these technologies are increasing the number of stages up to a quote unquote virtually unlimited number of stages while maintaining a large diameter or even a full diameter in the well bore. So thank you for joining me today. Once again, this is Aaron Burton with Unconventional Oil and Gas Training. All of my contact information is listed here. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me in any way you, uh, you want to, as well as on social media. And if you're enjoying the video blogs, be sure to sign up for the email communications. Thank you. Have a great day.